Hi everyone, welcome to DG Virtual Academy. We are so excited you could join us. Do not attempt any of these exercises without adult supervision. Also, be aware of your surroundings. Make sure the area you are doing gymnastics is on the grass or a panel mat. Remove any objects or people from the area to avoid hurting yourself or anyone else. Let's get started. Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Coach Christina and I coach all levels of tumbling and our ninja program. Today we are focusing on tiny tumbling. Tiny tumbling is a entry level class that focuses on fundamentals and goes up to the age of seven. In this class, I will be going over tips and drills to improve back flexibility and strength. Parents, please make sure you are actively spotting and watching. And before we get started, make sure your child is nice and stretched. If you need stretching ideas, feel free to look into our YouTube channel. We have lots of videos on stretching. Once you are stretched, let's go ahead and get started. Starting off, we have a simple drill where we start with our backs on the floor and bring our hips up, leaving our arms and feet still on the floor. A variation of this is where we start with our hands and feet on the floor and bring your hips back up and down just like that over again to get our glutes back and thighs ready for our actual table. Right here I am doing a table. Make sure your stomach is up and you are looking through to your knees. Once you have that down, I just grabbed an object. I had a piece, a roll of duct tape. I'm gonna put that on my stomach. I'm gonna push up back into my table. Once we're pretty good with that, we can try putting our left foot and right foot up in the air. This is a great opportunity to teach lefts and rights. I'm gonna put my right hand up and then as a little bit of a balance challenge, try my left hand and my right foot as well. Moving on to bridges, I'm just starting on my back with my elbows up and pushing all the way up to my bridge. For technique, I put a water bottle on the mat and I looked at it just to make sure my head wasn't poking through in the wrong ways. I had my arms cover my ears and I straightened my legs and put my feet together. The first drill that I have for bridges are called bridge rocks. I push up into my bridge and rock back and forth, bending my knees and pushing my head through my arms, but making sure that my hips are still as high as I possibly can go. A variation of this drill is doing your bridge rocks, but releasing your feet off of the floor. After a few reps of those, if your back is feeling sore, go ahead and roll them out. And another way of stretching your back is trying to grab the floor behind your feet. As your child learns how to bridge, you might run into some issues. For example, not pushing all the way up or having bent arms and bent legs. To overcome this problem, grab something to elevate their feet. I just had a couch cushion. I'm going to put it underneath my feet and bridge up. If they are still not hitting that full bridge, go ahead and stack some more cushions or pillows up. The higher you go, the easier it will be for them to get into this full bridge. Next, we have back bends, starting with a straight body, going to slowly go back and land on your hands. Back bends keep all the good technique that we learned from our bridges before. If your child is ready to move on, please refer to last week's video where I show how to get a back bend at home. All you need is a wall and some painter's tape. I hope these drills were clear and helped you out. Again, I hope you all are being safe and healthy, staying home, and we can't wait to see you guys in the gym. Thank you for watching this episode of Down River Gymnastics Virtual Academy. We hope you had a ton of fun and maybe learned something new. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up below and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the fun. Thanks again.